Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Wachiku Richard, and today we are going to be talking about Zoho CRM. And of course, you know, CRM is, is a very important aspect of every business. It's a uh, part of the business that uh, creates a relationship between your customers and your businesses. Um, trying to ensure that your customers issues, whatever complaints they might have, whatever feedbacks they might have about your product, solutions and services is well attended to, it's well sorted out. You don't want to leave your customers hanging. But then, what are the tools you need um, to be able to gather these um, complaints and feedbacks from your customers? That is where CRM comes in. And today we're going to be considering Zoho CRM. So Zoho CRM is a cloud-based CRM platform that allows businesses to manage their customers, and it you know it allows you to do such things as marketing, uh, lead management, you know sales and all of that. You can, you, in fact, you are even allowed to create your products, uh, create quotes as well as create reports and all of that. Manage your contacts, you know layers with your customers at all different levels so let us go right into it and see what zoho is all about so here is my zoho platform this is my zoho crm and as you can see this is my uh, zoho crm dashboard and on this dashboard this is where you're going to find um a lot of things about your business here you can get to see your open tasks your meetings uh, your deals closing this month and today's lead so if you are involved in generating leads for your business you could as well see this here then your pipeline so this is what you can see from the very first screen when you open your zoho uh, crm so if you don't have a zoho crm it's very simple to create you can just go to uh, zoho.com and then uh, click on crm to have your crm account <clears throat> and now that you are here on crm2 this is your crm platform you can be able to navigate from one point to the other and as you can see we have such things as leads contacts accounts deals tasks meetings calls reports analytics products quote sales other services and projects so this is all um you are going to find on your zo crm dashboard when you create your account so now that you are here let us see how we can actually navigate between you know from one point let us see how we can navigate the different features within the zoho platform and yes let me introduce you to the lead of course everybody wants to have leads for their business and this is uh a, this is a list of uh leads that was given to us by Zoho, uh, you know, by default. As soon as you get your account, you can simply import all of this as dummy content and use to demonstrate. So I'm using this to demonstrate so that you can be able to understand what we're talking about. So some of you want to ask, what is leads? Now, in every business, there is need for what? For leads. So leads are simply put as your potential customers, people you want to pitch your products, your solutions, people you want to introduce your services to, even though they are not uh, yet your customers. You can, and then you can do this through code emailing and code calling. You extract your, your contact details like phone numbers and emails from the internet or from using a, a lead tools like Apollo and the rest of them. And then when you get them, they are going to be here as leads. And then based on the fact that they are leads, these are people that you can actually start sending them your campaigns, your email campaigns. You can do code calling by calling them directly. And then you contact them and then you make them offerings about your products and services and then whenever any of them has accepted to maybe get along with you what you do is you can simply click on their name and when you do that you can convert them from leads to customers you see you can change these guys now from lead to maybe let's say this guy has become a customer you can say okay uh let's say a contact in future maybe you want to change the lead i mean i mean like you want to change him from maybe a junk list to maybe a contacted list uh, not showing that you've already contacted this person and all of that so this is all you have here on leads you can see those that have 
uh, you know, those that have record actions and all, and all of that. So this is the lead name. This is the company where the lead works. This is the lead email for each and every one of them. And then this is the lead phone number. And then the lead source, this is where you got the leads from. Did you get them from code call advertisements? You get them from web download? Did you get them from seminar partner or from online store or external referral and all of that? And then you're going to also find the lead owner, which is this business who owns this lead or who got this lead for this business. And that is all about leads. So let's talk about contacts. And of course, uh, your contacts are simply put as people who you've been doing business with, maybe your customers that you've had deals with in the past. See, these are our customers. And you can see here, you have the dates when they were, you know, when they were created. And then the company, uh, that's the contact name, the account name, and then the email of this contact, and then the phone number. And of course, you, as the owner of the business, you own these ones. And then, you, you know, when you come here, you can actually click into any of them to see uh their status with you so far like how many deals you've done you i mean how many deals you've made with them um uh, what other things you're doing with them and all of that and you see you can see them here and from here as well you can even send them an email maybe making a request uh the contact feature on zoho crm allows you to be able to manage your contacts you know set it up in such a way that it becomes easy for you to like know who they are maybe know how to reach them quickly and even the deals you had with them, you see these deals, I say Chapman, the deal was about $70,000 and then negotiation stage and then the profitability is about 90% and all of that. So this is what Zoho CRM helps you do. And then aside from contacts, within the Zoho CRM, we also have the account. And of course, you know, this account is your contact, your client's account, you know. There are some solutions you might offer. There are some products you might have that will be sold to companies, that will be sold to business accounts, you know. So this is where you can manage all of that. You have the uh, the account name, you have the, uh, the account owner's phone number, and then you have the business phone number of the account that you're managing. So we also have the deals. And of course, you know, deals, this is, important. This is the most important aspect of every business. Uh, no business wants to exist without closing deals, without having a lot of deals to, you know, to to make profit from. So the deal is where you get to see, a, you know, a lot of profit for the or uh, income for the business. And so you can see we have the different stages. This is qualification. This is lead and lead analysis and the value proposition, identified decision makers and then proposal or price quotes. So now these are the different leads that uh, we are having here on our dummy account. And when you finally deploy this Zoho CRM to your business, this is exactly how it's going to be like. And then we have tasks. Task is the next feature on Zoho CRM that will really, really help you increase your productivity as well as your profitability because this one helps you to so, uh, you know, to create tasks, you can simply create tasks by clicking on create task. And then when you create this task, you can assign it to a member of your team. And then you can, this task is going to have a status, like, okay, is it completed? Is it, you know, just like as if you have some of your project or task management tools, you know, just as you configure it in there, that's how you can configure it within uh, the Zoho task feature or the task two. And this is so interesting that it actually um, helps you to save time, helps you to track uh, team participation among your staff and then know who is redundant and who needs replacing and all of that. And then you can even know, um, you can, can even know what task this, you know, the task you are creating is related to. And of course you can actually set aside the contact name who this task is for you can now you can as well set the due date for this task and then of course every task has a name so you want to set that the subject part of it so this is all uh there is about uh, zoho uh, crm tasks feature and then we have the and then we have the meetings the meetings uh, uh tool or the meetings feature within zoho crm is such that you are able to know the kind of meeting you have the dates and then the time of elapse. I mean the, the 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 I mean like the commencement dates and then the the elapse dates and then what the meeting is related to you know to you're going to 
also specify that there. And then who this meeting is for, contact, you're going to put it there. And then, you know, we can have meetings, we can also have calls. So Zoho CRM actually allows you to, you know, to create a follow-up calls with maybe your prospective leads, your account uh, holders, your contacts, of course, possibly uh, those that you've had deals with. And of course, you can also contact those in your team and all of that. So you can also create your reports within your Zoho uh, CRM, which is probably a kind of uh, quick look at what you've been doing so far. Uh, maybe some of the business you've done in the past, you want to know how far they've gone and all of that. So you find this within your reports uh, section of the account. And then we have the analysis. Of course, and the analysis provides a quick overview. This gives you, you know, a kind of uh, rendering or should I say a kind of uh, analytics about what you've been doing so far. You see, leads this month, you have had 10 then the revenue and then you, you, you have leads in pipeline and then account creation for this month you can see that here and then you have your revenue target which tells you how much you're targeting for the month and then your lead generation target of course you can actually set this when we have the next video you are going to learn how to set your lead target and then your lead by socks by source this now this shows you where you got different leads from where they're coming from and then the last three months you're going to see how a quick overview of your leads created, deals created, deals won, revenue won, open amount, and all of that. So then you also have your prolific sales rep. This one shows you which of your sales uh, rep or member of your sales team is performing excellently and all of that. So we're also going to have our products. The product section allows you to create products that you are offering to your customers. And of course, remember, this is a CRM tool. Of course, it's a customer relationship management tool. So that means you want to like layers with your customers by offering them your product, suggesting them a good product that will be suitable for their businesses and all of that. And, you know, you can create products, you can import product, you can, you can import product from other sources and all of that. And this is just all this uh, Zoho CRM allows you or helps you to, to do. So, it's quite encouraging and I would suggest that you keep on with our channel as we are going to make interesting videos on how to deploy this whole CRM for your business and use it effectively. So I encourage you all to, to follow you to your to YouTube channel, share our videos with your friends and help us to as your likes and comments and all of that will help us to know that this thing, this video is actually very, very important and then we're going to make more interesting more educative videos for you and your businesses so now it's time to go i'll see you in the next video thank you bye, -bye.